Hi guys, it's Jen. Different format, I am not using my regular camera. I am filming on my iPad, but I have my studio lights on, so we should be good to go. This is going to be a quick video about these guys. Hopefully you can see them. Um, don't mind the 12 or so hour eyeliner that's on. I touched it up a little before I applied the false lashes today, this evening. Um, but yeah, so I had a few requests from friends of mine to do a quick video just about the eyelashes, um, false lashes. I have never worn false lashes. These are my first time applying them. What I used was Salon Perfect, and these are the Demi Whiskies. Actually, I should have set this up a little bit better. Uh, here's the packaging, so you can see them. So you can see the packaging. Um, and this is the name of them. Like I said, Demi Whiskies. Ardell makes Demi Whiskies, and so does Salon Perfect, and that might be it. So it comes with little case and then your lash will be here. Be careful, and I'm learning, but be careful peeling them off. She always, um, well, there probably is like some kind of method, but very gently and probably with your fingertips, nothing else. Definitely not um, tweezers or anything like that. This is a little applicator. Lash you grab and dab on there. And lash glue. So weird filming with my eyes. And like I said, there's packaging. I think these were three or four dollars. Really affordable. I just want them to try them out. They've been sitting there for I don't know how long, and I gave them a shot tonight. So that's what I did. Um, I have watched so many videos, and I've just been always so afraid. So a few tips I know of, or maybe just one or two, not even a few. Um, again, peel them easily off the packaging. Um, when you apply the lash glue, this is not the time to go all out and go crazy. A very thin bead of glue, and you have to wait for this glue to get tacky. This is not something that you say, oh, the more the better, and let me smash them on my lids. No. This is something where you wait and wait some more and then when you think you're done waiting you wait a little bit longer and then you apply them um, so like I said I wish I had the lash to show you but basically I grabbed them from here I just kind of placed them down this was okay for helping me but I did use my tweezers my tweezer man oh my goodness the name is worn off but these are my tweezer man tweezers this, I just use the back side just to get in on the corners and kind of press them down, make sure that we were good and lined up. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job for my first time applying them. Um, they look really great in pictures, so I was really happy with that. Again, I'd probably do more dramatic liner next time. And what else? So then I applied them, I pressed them down, I used this to press in the corners, I used my tweezers. One little, this eye, not a problem. I thought my right eye was going to be my easy, that's my dominant side. Not the case. That was my problem. This eye, done. I, I barely even did anything. It was on, it looked great, I was happy. This one I actually carefully removed, which if anybody has a tip on keeping it on, but just like the outer corner, myself, the outer corner was giving me trouble to, with lifting. So do I just have to peel them off, which is what I did, and then start it over? Or can I just put a little dab of glue right near my eyeball and hold it down? Probably not, right? So everyone that's experts or semi-experts or more of an expert than me, which is probably everybody, leave comments down below. Let us all know so we can all learn. But yeah, so this was, this little edge is still kind of lifted as you can see there, but oh my goodness, I'm so proud of myself for my first time applying them. I wish the lighting was a little better. 
with the iPad, but yeah, so I'm really happy. Um, and then I actually remembered that in my influencer box, I got this pair. These are Kiss lashes. These are light and soft as a feather. Natural. The, the model is shine. So, and they're tapered and they feel like your own lashes. So these are probably going to be very natural. Where I feel the Demi Wispies are not the most natural, but you know, they're, they're fun. So these are the other ones. These are the Kiss. I'm gonna try those next. But I'm really enjoying these guys. I know I've always heard Emily Noel talk about these. Um, there are Katy Perry lashes. There's so many to choose from. I know the Kardashian line, the Chroma line, I think, carries lashes. Um, Kiss, Ardell, Salon Perfect, Ilore. There's just so many. I couldn't even name them all. I, I haven't ventured out, obviously. Like I said, this was my first time. But yeah, so I just kinda pressed them on once I had them there, where I wanted them. Um, I maybe even could have cut these to make them a little more natural. I know you wanna, or I think you want to. Um, you know, I definitely wanted more of a like flouncy, flirty look, which I definitely achieved, or at least what I wanted to achieve. But I think you, the goal is to not have them go in so far, so you can actually cut them. I do watch another girl on YouTube, um, Leanne says, she's wonderful, she is all about the lashes, she is always talking about them. That girl wears lashes every day. Work whatever, she wears, she wears them, she's um, always into them. She actually creates half lashes by cutting them. So there's a deal, and then she just kinda wears them on the edges, but um, yeah, so check out her videos. Crystal is 007, she's all about the lashes, especially lately, and she has been looking so fierce with her lashes, amazing. Um, I've been a long time viewer of hers, and Emily Noel, she has a lash hair lash tutorial all encompass encompassing video on how to apply tips tricks the aftercare taking care of them if you want to keep them you can buy lashes that are mink hair that are they're like chinchilla there's all kinds of animal hair they are cruelty free from what I've heard the hair just naturally falls off of the animal you can pay up to, I mean, there's some, not up to, but there are some lashes that will run you $25 a pair. We're just talking some Salon Perfects that were $3 from Walmart, but you can definitely pay $25 to $30 a pair for some lashes. I know there's um, Esquito. Esquito is the brand that I always hear Coffee Break with Danny talk about. Um, that's another great girl to watch on YouTube. I'm just, I'm just name dropping. Um, but yeah, so lashes. These, this is what I am working with tonight. Um, I'm about to take all of my makeup off, but I want to film a quick video. A couple people asked to see it, so I figured I would try and get it up. I actually wanted to test out my filming with my iPad and my studio light, so I hope that was good enough for you for this quick video, and I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful, and maybe if you, you learned something, um, click the like button if you enjoyed this kind of video, if you like the lighting, if it, the video was helpful for lashes, and um, subscribe if you're not already, and um, the Jenny Jens on Twitter and Instagram, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great evening. Bye.